Thought I'd take a video today, a general view of the van and some of the final things that I got done to it. Um, these are all just maybe minor things now, but I um, got the uh, hitch mounted and finished the ceiling in the bedroom. I think I've shown everybody this view before, but I'll include it in this video so you can see how it looks with the ceiling. Oh, I discovered a chair that goes with it real nice that we had. Um, I may buy something else, but for now this will work and it matches the colors. It's a shade high. Really needs to be cut off where the top of that duct tape is. I had to put that on there to keep the chair from scratching up the floor. I'll go around back now. and get a view of the ceiling. Oh, that's my wife's sewing area, writing top desk. That's the ceiling. Again, the ceiling is about an inch and a half VB cedar. Oh, I dreaded this project, putting the ceiling in. Now, I really have been putting it off through the whole van build. I just didn't know in my mind how it was going to blend with the other white ceiling, but... Gosh, it only took me a couple hours to get it in. Yeah, another half hour to varnish it. I've only got one coat of polyurethane on it, but I'm... I'm just about out and it's pretty chilly today here in Michigan. It's about 40, it was three degrees. It started out 45 or better. It's supposed to go down to about 40 tonight. So this is the bed again. And the one feature I really wanted to point out was the amount of room under this bed with this design. This is four feet wide. And same thing here, bamboo flooring all the way through. It's four foot from this bed frame to, it's actually 49 inches, so you could slide a four foot sheet in there, actually a stack of them, and have a half inch to spare on either side. And uh, up until the other side of that chair where that bathroom wall is coming down to the floor, is uh, a little over eight feet I think it's eight foot six and I designed the galley covers to where there's a toe kick underneath it and that would allow three and a half inches of clearance for plywood to be stacked under it that's how I get the four foot width up in the front areas just because of that little toe kick and then in the center, I can slide 12 foot lumber all the way to the end of the bamboo flooring behind that transfer case shift. And then really in a pinch, you can put another two foot of lumber, you can put 14 foot up to the engine cover. Okay, now I want to show also this hitch I got from Harbor Freight. I really like this. I uh, put this in. It's a step down hitch. Really went together easy. Uh, and it has a number of adjustments. I'm down as low as it'll go. You can go 11 inches drop 
and I think 10 inches rise like you could go above this point you can go up above here come up and rise at 10 inches so has like a 21 inch travel just has two pins now the hitch was $29 including everything but this ball I had to pay about $8.95 for the ball so all together with the hitch and the ball is about $40 now I still got to wire it uh, I haven't done that yet but um, it's coming and the, I guess really the last thing we have to do here now before we can use this camper is get this foam mattress in here and um, still leaning towards about six inches of memory foam and that should conclude it um, my wife has mentioned a hanging rod somewhere for clothes, maybe in this area here. And also have to do window curtains on the side windows and the two back windows. And I need to do a hanging curtain just behind the um, passenger seat going over to the closet. So that's it for today.